Have you heard about Cosmoprof? Cosmoprof is the most important beauty trade show in the world, dedicated to all sectors of the beauty industry. This is where all your beloved brands are born. But you won't see the almighty YouTube reviewers or Instagram influencers talk about it because they haven't been informed. This is where deals are made and products are created. The guys you see review clippers or talk about them are the bottom of the barrel. Not the ones who speak honest, but the ones who are told what to say. And that's a lot of them. But why would they speak about this? This is nothing for them to sell or make profit from. All they will do is open a box and try sell you a lie and not mention the best brands. Only the ones who gave them a free hat and clipper. It's embarrassing at this stage. All the good ones will continue to just call these barbers out and expose them. It's actually entertaining watching them lie so much. The truth always comes out. I was shocked to see this brand still out promoting since they've fallen off. They seem to have given up completely now on clippers and trimmers and focused on hair dryers. Maybe they are less likely to catch fire, hmm, who knows? It's cool how they still try and look Italian even the world knows that's not the case, but maybe their influencers have a number to hit on how many new barbers they can lie to and convince. It's a strange one. I wonder if they have spoken about the clippers that went on fire. I wonder if anyone has addressed this matter even from the manufacturer. I mean an exploding clipper and nobody has spoken about it. That's crazy, bro. The manufacturer brand is called MRD, and they sell to Stylecraft and Scamma and so many other brands, and they are proud about the vector motor, the one that went on fire and exploded. I mean, nobody has still spoken out about it. So that means nobody gives a freak. Let's check them out. Such a good vibe around this place, I really enjoyed myself. Oh, look, it's MRD and not a fire extinguisher in sight. Hey, hey. They look so happy and proud. Wouldn't you if you were making money from exploding clippers and not having to address it to anyone? It must be nice being more important than humanity. Look at that wave. That's a man who can do whatever he wants. That's a man who controls stylecraft and will tell them whatever he wants. If he said you need to call your clipper the exploding clipper, they would have to do it. Imagine how funny that would be. If they did this, I would have full respect for them. Maybe they will. Maybe I have a big impact on how clipper brands see the world. I hope so, because if I do, I will then make it a better place for hardworking barbers to get the best quality products for the best prices. And if that's what you want, check out this little short clip. Run the clip! So, as I was walking around, I spotted something so crazy. I was thinking, maybe it's the bottle of wine I had the night before which had me dehydrated and a little confused. Was I seeing things? Was this really happening? Had someone poisoned my drink and I was deluded? Or was I just in shock? I am not sure if any one of you will remember this, but check this out. Lo and behold, a rare sighting of a caliber display unit. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought these guys went bust back in the 80s. I genuinely thought maybe this is some vintage display. I have not heard of this brand in years. I mean, when I started out as a barber, this was an old brand, so I mean, they are crazy old. It's cool they added in some history, I guess. My day was finished at Cosmoprof. I was proud to see the world of beauty alive and striving. But did I learn anything at this? Yes, I learned that TPOB is by far the fastest growing clipper brand in the world. And that exploding clippers still have not been addressed. My mission to get answers still remains. Will I ever get answers? Will we ever find out what happened? We are in this journey together. I feel we are close to our answers, but still a long way to go. But we will bond over this and keep us all united as one. Sometimes disaster brings people closer. I try to see the goodness in everything. Join me now as I have a concerned barber who wonders why nobody has reached out to him. Good afternoon, Toad. So, let me get this straight. You're a barber, but you claim to be an inventor and have no actual qualifications. Other than you try and sound intelligent, 
and you were recently fired from a barber brand after they realized you brought nothing to the table. And now you're angry about it? Well, I was promised to have an all-expenses paid trip to Cosmoprof. I helped the brand grow and create a digital gap. You know, I'm not just a cool-looking guy wearing goggles. I actually stare at the blades for hours and don't speak to anyone, so I don't have to answer any questions because I don't really know what I am doing. But now, as you can see for yourself, I was fired because sales are down a lot. The brand won't be around much longer, and I am actually looking for a job as an inventor now. Can you help me find a job? I'll be honest with you because that's all I am with everyone. You're going to need to give up this creator stuff because nobody is buying it. You had a nice start when the company had money to burn, but now the time is up and truth comes out. Soon, you won't even be remembered. I try and tell everyone to be genuine so you can last. But it seems the ones who lie end up with nothing, so do yourself a favor and speak the truth. I can't. My whole identity is being an inventor. I was given a platform to zero gap blades, and I'd done a great job. I have hundreds of puzzled barbers wondering what my next move is. I can't let them down. Someone needs to give me a chance to lie in peace and bring my fans along with me. Without this, I am nothing. If you could even spare me some change to get some new tools, I have a new invention I am working on. It's called Hero Gap. So when you use it, you become a hero. Come on, man. Give me a chance. I really need to speak with the producers about who we let on. That guy has fallen off so bad. It was fun while it lasted, Morono, but you're done. It just hit me. Was I becoming a star? Was I going to become ultra famous now that I have spoken to the biggest names in barbering? Would that change me? Would the fame get to my head? Would I now start promoting only brands that paid me? Did my new success turn me into a bad person? Was this what it felt like to become a big deal? A lot of you asked me what it's like speaking to big names and do I get nervous doing so? I honestly don't even notice. I have found my passion and I will stick with it for as long as I can. The barbering world can be dark and dangerous and crazy greedy but I have overcome some of the obstacles already. What is the future for Toad? Who knows I will continue to be honest and stay true to myself. And most importantly, stay real for the barbers. Without you, none of this would be possible. I have been attacked time after time, but it won't stop me. My main concern is the truth and we will all continue to speak it and grow as one. If you need to find any of the TPOB products, you can find them on the pissedoffbarber.com and find the best quality products for the best prices and tell them Toad sent you for a discount. Drum roll, please. I have a huge announcement to make tomorrow, so if you liked today's episode, please hit the like and subscribe. As for me, I'm about to pick up a hot emo barber girl for a date. I figured I should play this new fame to my advantage. I'm out. Peace!